I guess when he got the news, you know, they would call my father first. So, you know, they, like, as soon as it happened, my father was the first one to get the call, you know, because everyone knows my dad is the head of the family. He's the one. So they called him immediately. Like, He'll call his father, you know, like, and, you know, like, my father heard the news, you know. I know he probably broke. I can't even imagine what it's like to wake up at 12.30 at night to be woken up out of his sleep. To be like, yo, your son was killed. And then waking my stepmother up and then telling her, and they probably screamed, he probably broke down. They got dressed and went out there, seen him on that concrete, you know, curled up. You know, and it was in the news, they had a picture in the newspaper of, you know, his body, but just like a white cloth over it, you know, and for them to see him pick your son up, your son, just no more hair, put him on a stretcher, and, you know, like, he lost, my father lost a lot of friends who was killed and never met his son, you know, like, it was a whole different ball game, and, um, it's just, I don't know how my dad did it, you know, like, he's strong, he gets up every day, he goes to work, you know, he holds on for the rest of us, so it's like, it's tough. The call a father receives at night is the shortest conversation no man should continue. When the moon is the last eye on earth that watches your son transfer into an apparition unable to be there is a nightmare that is unshakable from the cerebrum when you show up on the scene, when you use two hands to pass through a crowd, the curtain falls when your blood freezes for your child laying on the ground curled up like a fractured centipede to attempt to catch all the lumps in your throat and spit them out. Well, laughter will be the reason why you remember why life is so important. Close your eyes and remember what my face looks like outlined before the oval in the sky. Could you see me? Shaped like a mahogany angel, my wings tattooed around my chest. I want my love to be the reason I fly for my friends who are brave enough to speak the scripture of a handgun and load its spinal cord and let the shells fall in my honor. That would be enough to silence the world as we exit back into the night under one moon where a man may make his last wish before a bullet enters his temple. Your voice is nocturnal. I hear it randomly ringing through my body like a whirlpool of whispers. It makes me wonder where you are now. Are you grateful about eternity? Waiting, recapping on resurrection, Polaroids of your life sweeping from my body the way smoke rises from a cigar. I see you making your way through the fog, phantom maneuver into a new world of meaning and grace. I'm not sure if you wanted to be a gangster, but you're elegant. Like a southern back row lit up by light bulbs, or they could be fireflies or just blunts placed into the ground like a trail of a thousand thermometers. I am here. 
at the end, you're beginning alive, waiting for the moment to fill your hands, rust and wrestle into mine, when our fingers meet again for the sound of your voice to soothe me out of my endeavors, we are made to endure a heart full of oil, and that's what it felt like the night you passed, we are made to endure a heart full of oil, that's what it felt like the night you passed, for the sound of your voice to soothe me out of my endeavors, we are made to endure a heart full of oil,